Hey guys, so it's the Husband Chronicles again. And this weekend, we tried out the Sundowners. So the Sundowners Resort is a Santorini-inspired resort. So they have two resorts, one in Zambales and the one that we are here right now. It's the Sundowners Bowling House. Approximately, it's five hours away from Manila. So let's get it! So we left Manila at around 4 a.m. and we picked up a couple of friends that will be coming with us to Sundowners. We booked the Master's Villa. Apparently, the Master's Villa is the largest villa in the resort. So the Master's Villa is a seven-bedroom suite. So we arrived at Sundowners Saturday, 11 a.m. and we were told that the check-in is 3 p.m. So we decided to eat lunch first. Let's go to... entering the master's villa we were greeted with a very nice suite the suite was very relaxing and guys we were not expecting that this villa would be this big and it has a private eight feet infinity pool it's all about humanity So after checking in, we decided to settle down, relax, sit back, chill, and enjoy each other's company. As in your body, I'm grabbing your ass, enjoying the moment cause life moved you fast. I'm looking forward, ignoring the past. These are the times that will laugh looking back. I'm getting lucky like coins in the well. Goodbye to my haters, I'm wishing you well. This is my man, if you couldn't tell. This is our life and we living it well. Late nights in the city causing hell. Burn this bitch into the ground, oh well For all we got tonight, let's do this right Let's do this right, let's go to This shit be like Friday nights This shit made me feel alive The Master's Villa is the most premium villa that Sundowners Bolinao has to offer. We spent the day admiring the breathtaking view from one of the three spacious balconies before heading up to the rooftop to gaze up at the stars. The villa has seven spacious bedrooms and one romantic loft bedroom which comfortably sleeps 18 guests. One of the rooms is designated for kids so if ever you are bringing a huge family, the kids would be very comfortable staying at a room that is designed and designated for them. Shortly after the sun goes up or even before it goes down, you will surely enjoy taking a dip in the stunningly blue pool which overlooks the sea. As for me, I mostly enjoyed sharing a couple of drinks with my closest friend in the pool's jacuzzi. You can also make use of the fully equipped kitchen that is connected to an outside bar and barbecue area capable of preparing your favorite drinks and meals. 
My friends really loves grilling foods. That is why we really enjoyed having a grilling station at one of the villa's common area. We also enjoyed our family bonding in one of the multiple stunning common areas. The common areas are not air-conditioned but it is also quite refreshing to enjoy the sea breeze gushing into the house. At night, the common areas are just as relaxing as how it is during the day. The common areas are lit by warm light which highlights the beautiful interior design of the villa. The master's villa can accommodate 18 guests but its max occupancy is 25 guests. On a low season rate, Sundowners charges 34,950 pesos per night. And during peak season, Sundowners charges 39,950 pesos per night. So that's it guys. So after the pool activities, the family bonding, the seafood meals, and lunch bonding, it's time for us to check out. So it's time to say goodbye to Sundowners Bolinao. So before we go back to Manila, there is this some sort of fish vending cooperative that we came across going to Sundowners. So we decided to grab a cooler and fill it with ice and of course buy some seafoods. And guys, I'm not kidding. Get a load of what they have to offer. They have varieties of seafood starting from the squid, the tuna, the crabs, oysters, etc. And this is like heaven for me because I really love seafoods. Like I really really love seafoods. And after buying seafood, we started rolling again because we're going to our second destination, going back to Manila. And that would be the Dried Fish Vendors Cooperative. Also just a couple of kilometers away from the Fishing Vendors Cooperative. And after buying some dried fish goods, we finally decided to head back to Manila. So that wraps up our family weekend bonding. So if you like these kinds of contents and videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the bell notification button for you to be updated on my latest uploaded videos and vlogs and whatever. This is the Husband Chronicles again and see you on my next vlog. Bye!